Two Asian males pulled up at the lights, a uh, sedan pulled up next to it. It opened fire, passenger died instantly. Driver's currently receiving treatment, he's the one who made the call. Thanks, Constable. No problems. Five shots in total. All of them? Close range. Alright. First shot hits the driver's door. Second one hits his seat. The third one, however, hits the victim in the arm. It is forward to grab his weapon. Bang. Fourth shot hits him in the neck. It comes through and smashes the driver's window. Final shot. The victim looks across at the shooter. Square in the head. Bang. Lights out. Got an ID on the kid? Yeah, you're not going to believe this. Train low. The driver, Bao Tang, states the shooters could have been grave diggers. 
Had the uh, stockade tattoos on the necks. Looks like that's it. Hey. Heard Mike Callis come on this one. Callis? He's undercover. That's what I heard. Bullshit, Marty. It's his case. We need to stop this before it gets out of hand. Yeah, but homicide has jurisdiction, mate. <sighs> yeah, I understand. All right. Fine. It's official. Mike Callis is on this Asian shooting. Tombs must think I'm a complete fuck up to get Callis in to hold my hand. Tombs just wants this done quickly. And if that means working with Callus, Jimmy, then we work with Callus. That's where he is. Special Ops will be standing by. You follow them in, you bring him out, and you solve this before we have a major gang war on our hands, OK? Funds, yeah, but um, here's the thing. <clears throat> I can do you boys a solid favor of the century. I can give you six cash and ten in guns. Ten in guns. No street trash, clean weapons, police issues. <laughs> you take us for? Trust me. I can get my hands on some pretty cool shit, shit that's not even out there. What was that you were talking to on the phone 20 minutes ago? What? Oh. You're a fucking pig. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a fucking pig. You fucking what? Fuck this. Let's get out of here. He is a pig. Hey, you accusing me of being a pig? In my woman's house? Who are you fucking talking to before I walked in, eh? Maybe you're the pig, you fucking say. Hey, come on, let's just call it, huh? Let's still negotiate. What? I said let's just call it. Let's still negotiate. It's the third fucking time you said it. That's the fucking third time you said it! Hey, hey, hey. hey is that your fucking uh, coach? He's not a hey. pig! Is that? Hey, hey, hey. He yeah. just got out! I'm not a cop! I'm not a cop! He's got a bad back! Oh, just sit down. Let's finish this. Hey? Right, oh, no. Open up! Police! You motherfucker! Oh.
Let's get the fuck out of here. Don't think you got a bit rough back there, Detective. Detectives, you're in, kid. You call me Senior Sergeant or Sergeant Kellis. How about Bulldog? I'm not gonna do this fucking man dance with you. Now, the connected kid's dead, right? So you understand why the gooks are gonna want revenge. Now look, if I offended you back there, well, I really don't give a fuck. I want the kids' files and whatever the coroner wrote up. While you're at it, you can give me your files as well. See, you got the soap to work, Sergeant. What do you got? The victim, Trang Lo. <laughs> Second grandson of Benny Lo, AKA Benny the Butcher. They sent a message yet? No, I guess they're still grieving. Tunes must have bought us a few hours. What else you got? Okay. The driver, about ten. <laughs> he states that we're driving to this party room. Where the fuck are we going? Somehow we got lost, we pulled up at the lights, and then this car pulled up next to us. This green car. Then they just began firing. Uh, the uniform asked him who began firing and did he see their faces? He replies, yeah, I kind of saw one of them. He looked like a biker. He had a tattoo on his neck. Small flag with a cross, I think. Small flag with a cross, that's a grave diggers. So, how do you suggest we handle this? Okay, I've got this informant, Gooks. Now he floats with the diggers and a few other crews. We get him to sing, he'll no doubt know a guy who knows the guy who pulled the trigger. If it was the diggers, Googs will know. Googs? Yeah, you know him. The kid's dead, Jewel. From sun up to sundown, that's all we have. That's it. And you want to go out playing Chinese fucking whispers with a guy that knows the guy. We need to start at the top. If this was the diggers, then the order would have come from Alfie. Alfie Mullins? <laughs> nah, Googs. But Alfie Mullins has been in maximum for five years. So? The 
this just doesn't make any sense. What the fuck are you doing here? I mean, you just don't do all those years of your masters and then just end up in homicide. I chose homicide, Sergeant. Why? And don't give me any of that want to be one of the good guys clean up the world shit. What's wrong with cleaning the world, Sergeant? <laughs> Listen, Princess, I'm not going to do this man dance with you. You know why I'm here. Why the fuck are you? I want to make a difference. This is one of those cases that will. Listen, just spare me the good guy bullshit, will you? So, you ever killed anyone on the job, Detective? Shouldn't that be in my files, Sergeant? Well, yeah, it is. But I want to hear it from you. This junkie had straightened up. Wanted to see his kid. His wife disagreed. So he came back with a 15 inch knife. We'd just finished our shift when he took the call. He managed to cut on a training officer. William Kemp. said that. How do I say it, Sergeant? The right way. No emotion. Just like he was a sick dog. It's good. See, when they enter that frame of mind, they turn into fucking animals. And the cop who hesitates or makes it emotional, he's the one who ends up on the six o'clock. And I don't want any of that bullshit today, you understand? It didn't happen like that, Sergeant. Sure it did. He had a knife. Today's about one thing, speed. If that means breaking rules, operational procedures and all that fucking tactical bullshit, then consider it broken. Are we clear? I said, are we fucking clear? We should go around the front. This is the fucking front. You want to educate those boys, Tom? Give me the hours line like I'm some fucking maggot. Who said you ain't? Don't make me come in there, old man. Who are you after? Elfie. You're gonna love this. What's the interview for? Ah, it's his birthday. Thought I'd come and sing him a song. Bring him a prezi. <laughs> Think he'll like it? Just his type. <laughs> no, bring him to roommate. Roommate, no, fuck that. This is off the books, mate. What's he gonna tell us? He's fucked either way. Repeat.
Jesus. Pay for what? You walked into a wall. You're gonna be batting your old age. Taking your anger out on kids now, mate. What's this got to do with me? No place, stupid. Just tell us which one of your retards shot that kid. Go fuck yourself, Callus. Too early for this shit. I'm gonna do this man dance, Elfie. We both know your old bones don't heal like they used to. Yeah, well, I didn't call this shit. Didn't your melon do that last time you played hard to get? Fuck off. God! Two books and a bat. Now! Feels like deja vu. Where would you like it, Elfie? Use your head. Why would I call a hit on those kid? Most of our leaders are in here, genius. No one starts a war he can't win. Maybe. Or maybe it means two things. You call the hit, and right now you're pulling my dick. Or they move without you. Old man's gonna die in jail, so fuck it. Nobody makes a move without me. Don't matter anyway. In ten or so hours, the lows are gonna want revenge. You know what today is, don't you? Well, of course I do. It's our national ride. And you got two sons on that ride. And your wife waiting at Thomastown. The lows know this. Just need to know if you call this hit, you gotta give me the shooters. They fucked up. But you can stop a war. You're the good cop as well as the bad cop today, are you, Callus? If two of my boys can't hit a driver at point blank, then they deserve everything that's coming to them. What else are we gonna talk about? Weather? Fatherhood? How's your little girl going? You mention her again, I'll kill you! I'll rip you apart! Sergeant! Get your fucking hands off. You can't do this in here! <laughs> fucking prick! Hold on to it. Should have bought my fucking bat. Just because he knows a bit about me, that cocksucker thinks he fucking knows me. What, do you believe him? Yeah, I believe him. Obviously a bloody setup. I can't believe we didn't see this coming. Well, he's right. There's no way the driver would have survived. Yeah, still might not. The police are fearing a repeat of the riots that plagued the city two weeks ago. The gang war that... Superintendent Toombs, speaking on behalf of his police force, stated that his department urgently needs a boost in funding. He claimed that last year's budget cuts are directly responsible for the race-driven territorial war that has plagued the city. survived the shooting and has been released from hospital, declining to talk to the media at this time. Right. 
You want to stall them at the front or take the back? We can't do anything drastic. We should put our cards on the table or we book him for impeding an investigation. Okay. Lead the way, detective. Police, open up! What do you want? Ma'am, we'd like to speak with Bao Tang. Bao's leaving. You come back. Ma'am, could you wake him up? We'd like to speak with him now. Warren? You have Warren? Ma'am, we know he's here. Warren? Could you wake him up? We'd like to speak with him you right now. Ma'am, could you wake him Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant, where are you going? Get in the warrant, what do you fucking reckon? Get in. Turn around. Turn left. Left again. Do you pick up the 12 gauge? Yeah. Good. Just here. Open the boot. You stole him at the front. We need Bow. We're Warren Law!
Oi! Wake up, sweetie. In the future, soldier. The machines have destroyed us. <laughs> Fuck you, let me out! Doesn't feel good to be fucked with, does it? What do you want? The truth. Exactly what happened this morning. I told the cops everything. Your partner, he was there. Your story's full of holes, Bell. Cut the shit. I told you what happened! Well, you see, he don't remember things so good. So why don't you fucking tell us again? We were driving, coming back from the metro. <laughs> Trang said, let's grab some eggs. So, we grabbed some eggs off this guy in City Road and headed back. <laughs> we then pulled up to a set of lights and... Hope breaks loose. By the time I looked up, I could hear them laughing. And the next minute the car was gone. Yeah, you're a good kid. It's really hard to tell when you're lying. I'm not lying! Did any oh. find that shit out this morning you tried to put nine mil holes in a pair of us? I thought you were gonna take me out! I thought you worked for the fucking grave diggers! I don't buy this shit, I'm not doing this fucking man dance with him. There's too many loose ends in your story, man. You said they had grave digger tats. There's no fucking way diggers would have left you alive. Stop fucking with us. Who shot Trang? That's what I saw! They look like bikers, okay? The driver had biker tats! I'm not fucking lying! Sergeant. Sergeant. What are you doing? Didn't they teach you not to leave your prisoner on guard at the But he could be telling the truth. Maybe. I told maybe them everything! The maybe they are from another yeah, crew. The devil. Maybe it was death. Right. The way this cop fucking keeps moving the goalposts, it could have been anyone. It could have even been you, detective. Sergeant, wait! Unless you want to rumble here, don't ever fucking touch me again. Okay, okay. I shouldn't have touched you, but this has gone far enough. You, of all people, know that there's a green light on cops who precisely do this kind of shit. What are you trying to say? I think I made myself clear. Don't put me in that corner. You want to cry? Go in the fucking car. If you push him hard enough, he'll say anything you want to hear. Yeah, and that's the goal. Yeah, good news, pal. Detective Jewel over there, he believes you. I, on the other end, think you're a fucking liar. Now, I know you're under a lot of stress. So am I. 
side. This is a 38. Same gun the shooters used. Now we're going to see how your story really holds up. 3.30 a.m. You and Low are driving down City Road. We presume you've already got your ex. You pull up at the lights. Green sedan pulls up beside you. Low winds down the window. Bang! <laughs> they fire the first shot. Now we'll just hold it there for a minute. There's five shots fired in total. Now according to your story, two into you and three in low. Right? Right! Yes! You know what? I think it happened the other way around. Green sedan pulls up. Low winds down the window. That one hits him in the right arm. He swings with his other hand to grab the gun. It's not there. Because you've got it. You just fucked him over. Hits him in the neck. Tends to see the shooter. Ah, stop! Why? They didn't. Ah! That one ends it all. See, I worked Asian crime, kid. I know Bao means protector. Some fucking protector you were. You know. That first shot was really fired at you. You know what that means? <laughs> Second shot should have hit. Cut. What? The shooters were cards. Where do we find these guards? Let him loose. What the hell is he talking about? Let him loose, detective! I want composites and put him in the back. He's coming with us. This morning was just a spark. The media will see it as Asian boy gets murdered by a bikey gang. Black versus white. You know who's going to benefit from this? The fucking department, that's who. Because the garbage detail goes in and cleans up again as fucking usual. That's why he switched on to cover, isn't it? Crime's like a disease that feeds down the food chain. You gotta kill it before it spreads. You won't do that in homicide. The 
gotta be careful. Don't spread to your family. So you do have a big family then, Sergeant? Look, you just keep your eyes on the road. And you shut the fuck up! Got it out of him. Yep. Guards. Just give me a minute. Yeah, you recognise the driver? Not sure about the shooter, though. Okay. See you soon. There's your coffee. Yeah, tell me about these guards. Look, kid. Don't kid me on this, Callus. Now yeah, tell me, who are these guards? I'm getting Brady to pull you off the case. No fucking way. This is my case. I called it. Unless you level with me, I'm pressing jurisdiction. Don't fuck me on this one, Callus. Cops. No fucking way. I thought the department cleared itself of all that shit. Are you really this naive? Cops need money to survive like everybody else. Tombs and I led a commission back in the 80s, and like the Masons, the guards just kept coming out more and more. Then the shit hit the fan when some guard fuck left a bullet and resignation papers in my locker. Look, that whole incident led to an anti-corruption commission, and a lot of cops went down. Well, I guess they didn't get everyone. Yeah. Look, uh, Tombs will be here soon. How's that composite going? I'll check. Jewel, you wash your hands of this, you know. When they find out we're going after guards, you won't be just watching your back out there. I mean... Uh, Detective Jewell. Homicide. He's the one who's called the case. Uh, Detective, Albert Torino, ACC, Anti-Corruption Commission. George Watts, legal. Public relations. And, same thing. And I'm sure you've met Superintendent Toombs. How are you, Detective? Good. Second composite. Just came through. Right, I'm after a quick about this. These blokes are up against the bloody clock. Bert, what do you got there, mate? Okay, judging by the facts, you sent there were 20 matches. 
we've narrowed it down to these men. You guys are going to have to look in the vault. Fine. George, you got anything to add, mate? Well, the usual. Just keep it quiet. Those media pricks love a bit of corruption. Hopefully we can keep it between us. Yeah, of course. Now, as soon as you get this shooter, let me know. The Lowe family are extremely fucking pissed off. They might just believe that we dealt with one of our own. Any questions? Okay. Uh, yeah, actually I do. Why do they call him Bulldog? All right, girls, let's get it done. a few names in the past. Now yeah, it's just called the vault. Well suited home for the department's bad boys. All these are dirty cops. Yeah, some more than others. All right, here's the list. Let's get started. Got him. Who is he? William Sumner. He's been under the lamp twice last year, off duty shootings. He claims he witnessed illicit activity and acted upon it. The victims were low level scumbags, no witnesses. This is our boy.
Come on, let's run him. Getting the roll on the shooter. Yep. Yeah, I'll get him for you. It's your wife. Emma, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I've already eaten. Fine. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. What do you think pushes a cop over the line? Which one? Murder. And I don't mean dipshits like Sumner. Good cops. Greed. Disillusion. Power. You know, as much as society wants to put cops on a pedestal, most of them are just dropouts with guns. You ever been offered a bribe? No, oh, well, I've had suspects crying out, please, I'll give you anything. Stop. Please, take it all. What do you consider that a bribe? Yeah, if you take them up on it. That's how it begins. Look the other way, blur the line, whatever you want to call it. One day you look down, the line's gone. Just a dirt bag with a badge. It's a bit more complicated than that, Jewel. Complicated's an easy word to hide behind. You know, in all the cops of our flush, I'll honestly tell you it's never been black and white. It's human. The world just wants to make it simple and it fucking ain't. It's pretty simple if you ask me. You do something wrong, your first instinct is, can I get away with it? Can I hide behind something? Some things have to be black and white. That's his partner. There's no sign of Sumner. Shit. What do you think? Let's pull him up. Louis, come here. Get here. Don't make us fucking chase you. You Bill Sumner's partner? Yeah, why? You seen him today? No, didn't come in. Personal reasons. What do you want to know? Personal fucking reasons. You know where he is? You guys try his place? Nah, we will. Get in. I just finished my Get shit. Get the fuck in! Your partner, he's not into any wild shit, is he? No. Guns, snakes, poisonous spiders? No. Go on, get out. What? Next time, ask my opinion, all right? So, how do you want to handle this? <laughs> Hurry up, police!
We'll have to canvas the neighbourhood and see who spotted him last. Let's knock a deal. Don't you need a warrant, Detective? If you just killed somebody, would you be playing your music that loud? Lead the way. Something. So, uh, Munts, Jones, house is up front. White, Jelladaris, back. Now move them. What do you think? I think it looks like murder suicide. This was no suicide. What do you think happened here, Detective? I think the shooter was known to him. Possibly helping them pack. Suddenly he goes postal, takes out the wife. Sumner wasn't always here. It's possibly by the bed. Case is half packed. Shooter gets him to walk around, open his mouth. Murder suicide. Mm. Yeah, and our case ends here. That's what he wants us to think. Shit, we just caught a break. Who is he? His name's Chris Anderson. He claims he's an agoraphobic. What the fuck's that? It's a fear of people. Getting out of your comfort zone. He's a shut-in. Fucking freak. Tapes his neighbours. Yeah. Back it up to this morning, Constable. Back further. Stop. Let's take it back a bit. Play. that again. I know him. Ex-cop, David Flanagan. Marty, the shooter's David Flanagan. Nah, Flanagan took him out. Yeah, we're on our way back now. Right on. He's a fuck-up. Dipship thought he was a martyr. He was indicted and thrown out in 92. He's been on and off the radar since then. Working as a security guard for these wannabe mafia scumbags. He's a big guard supporter. You think he's running? Without a doubt. Keep left. His ex-missus still lives off Belair. She left him back in 94, but knowing their bloody history, I bet she still cooks for him.
sorry. Which one is it? Okay, this one here. Oh, how convenient. Is that her? Yeah, that's her. Just keep driving. Go over here. Let's just see where she's going. You ever told anyone, Jill? We'll be fine. Just remember, it's not a chase. There she comes. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Don't tell me she's going fucking shopping. Fuck. That's her. Where? There, she changed cars. You sure? Yeah, she's the blue car. Fucking bitch. She's playing secret agent. He's told her to fucking change cars whenever she comes to see him. Well, let's wait till she leaves. Load up.
You fucked up big this time, Dave. Get on your knees! Why? I was protecting what I believe, Mike. Get on your knees! Hey, come on, Mike. Let me disappear. No way. Besides, how does killing a kid help your fucked up cause, huh? Killing him created a need. Bullshit. You men are war. You leeches killed him just so you could get paid. You've got no fucking idea. Let's take this prick in. That kid was no saint. He was a butcher in training. Sergeant, call terms. That piece of shit killed women because they wouldn't fuck him. You're not seriously blowing this guard bullshit, are you? The guard does a lot of good things for cops. Things no one hears about. You did Sumner a lot of good. That's something we'll all hear about. Oh, fuck you! Let's take the prick in. Call Toombs. Detective Richard Hall. You remember Richard? He was chasing a speeder off duty and collided with an oncoming truck. And those assholes in PD denied Beth everything. Pension, insurance, you name it. They fucking disgraced him because he had a drop of alcohol in him. Who do you think set her up, huh? The guard. When I got the call, it was an easy choice. Just cause you fucks tossed a dead cop's widow a bone doesn't mean fucking shit. Cops die every day. And PD robs their fucking graves! Officer Penali. Shot on duty, disgraced because a stray bullet hit a bystander. Patrolman Jack, stabbed while foiling a robbery, funds denied. O'Halloran, Figgins, Chavez, Lamb, Drucker, Kemp. Grace Kemp. We can't let him go, it's not right. Call terms. No. Mike. Then you know what to do. What the fuck does he mean by that? Mike. It means he's not going in a lockup. What? He means he's not going in a lockup. No. You've no idea what they'll do to him in there.
Are you okay, kid? Listen, we did the right thing in there. He would have got torn apart inside. Now he gets an open casket, he gets buried with dignity, and his wife gets insurance. Look, if you want to change the world, you ain't going to do it here. You come and see me in undercover and I'll promise you'll make a difference. Let's get the fuck out of here. Tell me, who are these guards? Cops. And our case ends here. That's what he wants us to think. It's official. Mike Callis is on this Asian shooting. What do you got? Right across check on Brody's phone number for the last two days. Brady? Are you sure? Yeah, Flanagan's number, Sumner's number, and Bao Tang's number. All right, kid, you better be right. You'll get it in a flash. I was protecting what I believe, Mike. When I got the call, it was an easy choice. What do you have? You were right. What about personal details? Yeah, yeah, all that. But there's, um, something else. I'm sending it through now. down in 15. Take a good look at 17. So, this means nothing. You know, that proves exactly what I think it does. And you have no idea who you're accusing. Yeah, I do. All I need to know is if you're with me or against me. All right, just fucking hold up. You go running off half-cocked at this, you're not only going to ruin his 25 years, you're going to fuck yourself as well. Let's just see what he's got to say first. What's your earliest memory, Jill? 
ones of these giant black shadows. Must have been two, three. Anyway, I remember them saying to me I couldn't speak to them anymore. I just remember this feeling of sadness was consuming everything inside. What do you think that means? Just let me do all the talking, all right? It's better be bloody important. Eight, 15. 17 on that one. Yeah. So bloody what? They're Flanagan, Sumners and Bow's phone numbers, Marty. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing ringing them? Are you serious? So, you better say something that convinces Detective Jewel back there. Because he thinks you masterminded this whole fucking thing. Is that what you think, kid? Christ, you blokes have got the bloody mastermind. Flanagan. I admit I rang this stupid bastard up. He was going through some bloody issues. As for Sumner, Christ, anyone in my office could have bloody rang him. How do you explain Bao Tang? Well, they're only Bao. The way it looks, the way the ACC will see it, you called Flanagan. You called Bao. You told them what they wanted to hear and just waited for the shooting. You then called Callus. You know he's a bulldog and he'd find Flanagan. <laughs> Are you serious? You destroyed three lives today, Superintendent. Now maybe it was political, personal, it doesn't matter. You fucked up. So how are we gonna solve this? What do you want, kid? Hey? Eh? What do you want? Mike? Nah. Not this time, Marty. Kid's right, you fucked up. And again, you brought me into it. I can fix this, mate. I can bloody fix it. Look, Mike, I'm sorry I didn't bloody tell you. Mate, I'll fix this. This won't be a bloody problem. Fuck. In front of the chief and he shot you. And I shot him to protect myself. Good work. You're gonna be remembered. So are you. Don't be a smart ass. Do you want an open coffin or not? No, I mean you're really gonna be remembered. You're under arrest. Fuck you. You're not wearing a wire. I've already patted you down. Don't put me 
Hard to clean up the guard when you're running it, isn't it? I'm not running nothing. Bullshit. That's why they call you Bulldog. Big Dog. You fuck! You believe those fairy tales? They're just bullshit passed around from precinct to precinct. You've done nothing to be proud of today, kid. What do you think I'm going to the Z? Take me in. No. So, Sergeant Callis shot at you? He's about to. So, would you say you fired in self-defense? Yeah. Pretty simple if you ask me. You do something wrong, your first instinct is can I get away with it? Can I hide behind something? Look the other way, blur the line, whatever you want to call it. One day you look down, the line's gone. 